good afternoon uh, one and all this is dr monica chopra i am the campus director uh, working at the center for healthcare allied medical and paramedical sciences delhi skill and entrepreneurship university at uh, the okla 2 campus new delhi i have along with me today uh, two industry experts uh, who will be telling us Uh, and giving us a lot of information about the new course which is being started for the academic year 2022-23 at the Champs Center Okla 2 campus which is BBA Hospital Management uh, if i talk about myself i'm working as the campus director and i belong to the paramedical field myself i'm a post doctorate in pharmacy and uh, Uh, i have been teaching for the last around 23 years i have a teaching experience and a research experience of 23 years along uh, with me and uh, i have various research publications and few books to my credit in fact i have various postgraduates along with me today i have uh, two senior industry experts along with me one is dr sai prasad patnaik sir Uh, sir uh, is the dgm operations at the apollo medicals limited the course bb hospital management what we have started in the center for healthcare allied medical and paramedical sciences at the okla 2 center is uh, is an initiative of dsu along with the partnership with apollo medicals so sir represents uh, the dgm of the apollo medicals the clinical operations uh, i welcome you sir and along with uh, dr sai prasad we have today ms vijayanti mala uh, sisarla ji she is the senior manager management programs apollo med skills uh, before we go into the conversation and the interactions about the course about the bbo hospital management uh, what we are going to start for this academic year at the champs center in the okla industrial area phase 2 uh, i would like to apprise you all uh, with a presentation on the bb hospital management indicating uh, the basic things about the program uh, the program which we are going to start here is the bba hospital management which we are running at the delhi skill and entrepreneurship university which is uh, a state university under the government of city of delhi we are running this course in partnership with apollo med skills who are one of the leading partners in the healthcare uh, in the scaling revolution along with us the delhi skill and entrepreneurship university it was launched by the delhi government to address the very uh, skillful gap uh, it is a totally ugc recognized university and it has been conceptualized and incepted uh, by a deputy cm shri manish sodia ji according to him uh, the university will have a focus on the quality and quantity as well and to provide high quality courses in the entire spectrum of skills training along with the traditional skills being provided to the students and we intend to uh, cater to a large uh, intake of students to the existing demand the dsu we have our pro vice chancellor ma'am professor niharika bora she uh, is the person behind the mission and vision of the dsu and uh, ma'am strongly believes that skilled people are entrepreneur at heart so we at dso dsu we hope to imbibe the spirit of confidence by learning a skill and encourage people to create opportunities to improve life and provide livelihoods since dsu is a state uh, university of delhi so 85% of the seats will directly cater to the students from the government of city of delhi and 15% will be catered by students who belong to various regions outside delhi the dsu programs as i said they are made by the industry experts with uh, with a vision for making our students job ready so the industry partners especially the apollo med skills whom we have collaborated with Uh, along with various academic experts they have created the curriculum and it has been vetted by various experts of the bb hospital management team only the faculty who would be teaching these courses at the champ center they have lot of industrial experience along with them and they have been uh, recruited from the apollo medicals so they have a huge industrial experience and the total course which will be taught will be taught in a project oriented approach 
the students, they are going to learn about the programs through various kinds of on the job trainings, internships, case studies, and various project works. Project works. Uh, we also have included in the curriculum various phase the world skills, wherein we'll be teaching the students digital literacy, financial literacy, and socio emotional uh, aspects also of teaching, which is also very, very important for the holistic development of this candidate. We started our university of the daily skill and entrepreneurship university in the uh, August 2020 and last year more than 5000 students from all parts of Delhi have enrolled and are getting upskilled and reskilled in our in our university. Champs, as I said, it is a joint initiative of DSU and Apollo Med Skills. Why we chose this subject, uh, why we chose this program as BB Hospital Management uh, is to address uh, the demand which is arising, especially after the impact of COVID-19, it has really increased the health awareness. And even our government is strongly supporting us uh, through various schemes. And uh, as all of you are aware, there is increasing occurrence of lifestyle diseases also, which is a driving demand uh, for these kind of courses. So we decided to start off with the BB and hospital management as there is an acute shortage of the hospital administrators. And especially there is uh, so much of demand and so much of lifestyle diseases which are occurring. So this is the need of the R. The curriculum, as I said, has been developed in partnership with the senior industry professionals of the Apollo Med Skills uh, and other uh, professionals practicing in top institutions in the hospital management uh, field. Uh, the trainers, they have been carefully selected with strong industry experience to teach in a practical manner. Uh, with various case studies and project-based learning. The students are just not uh, taught by the theoretical aspects, but yes, they'll be given lots of case studies, lots of project-based. Um, and the whole course, it is a course of three years, wherein one year is totally dedicated to the on-the-job training or the internships. What I mean by this is that a BB hospital management is a three-year course, wherein in two semesters, especially in the third and fifth semester, we will have a total exposure to the hospitals, wherein the student would be visiting the hospital in the entire uh, semester and would be basically enriched with the practical knowledge of the hospital. So this is a USP, we can say, of DSU for the BBA hospital management. Various uh, hospitals, we have a partnership, uh, Polo Mexicas with Apollo Hospitals, Max Hospitals, Fortis Hospitals, PSRI, and Nestiva Hospitals. So we have a tie with all of them and the students would be sent for the on-the-job training in two semesters in all these hospitals. Now, if we talk about the career opportunities, which my industry experts would be able to explain in a better way, uh, but uh, the, there are lots of career opportunities for a BBO hospital management student. Um, the various employers could be hospitals, care clinics, home health and nursing homes. The management personnel, once they get a degree in BBA hospital management, they'll be working together with the clinical and non-clinical departments to provide the best patient care and optimum support towards the better management of the processes at the hospital. So various roles wherein a student who completes his degree in BBA hospital management, he will have specific roles to play in the healthcare finance manager or as a hospital administrator or as a blood bank administrator healthcare, human resource managers, insurance managers, and project managers. So these are various specific roles where the BBO hospital management technician, uh, the student would be taking the roles as. And there are various sectors also where he can find the jobs. It could be related to pharmaceuticals or to insurance and finance sectors, various consulting firms, uh, various NGOs and government sectors. The starting salary for media hospital management student would be somewhere starting from 18,000 to 23,000 per month initially, but there is a steep growth every year depending upon his credentials and there is an 8 to 10 percent annual enhancement with experience, uh, which a student can have every year. After this course, what are the career opportunities, as I said, that the student can work as in a managerial post in various places. He'll be able to look after the outpatient and inpatient services at the hospital. He'll be capable of handling the patient care systems with systematic approach. Uh, he will be proficient in understanding of hospital-based operations, including the billing and insurance. 
he'll be able to correctly perform and monitor the activities in various departments. As I said, it's a three-year course where we'll have two years on the campus training, both in the classroom and with various projects in the labs. We have one of the best state-of-the-art labs at the Daily Skill and Entrepreneurship University at the Champs campus. So students will be having a total exposure of all the classroom teaching as well as the latest equipments kept in the uh, labs. So it's a multifaceted approach to ensure the holistic learning of the student. And as I said, in two semesters, the student would be going for the on-the-job training as a part of the internship in various hospitals. If we talk about the eligibility criteria of the student is that class 12, any class 12 graduate, uh, class 12 student with minimum of 50% marks in class 12 and minimum of 60% marks in English in class 12 can apply for this course of BBA hospital management. Uh, the admissions are open and you can visit our website www.in or you could, you could call us at 1-800-309-3209 uh, during the working days from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. for any kind of free counseling. Then you can uh, fill up the application form, check the status of your admission, and then finally proceed with the fee payment. For any queries, you may write to us at admissions at the rate dsu.ac.in, as it is portrayed in this slide. Uh, where can you find us and how do you fill this form? So the site is dsu.ac.in. Uh, we are there in all the social medias, whether it is the Facebook or whether it is LinkedIn, Twitter or Instagram. So you can find our Daily Skill and Entrepreneurship University. And this course will be run at the CHAMPS DSU Okla 2 campus, which is situated in uh, Ma Anadmai Mark, uh, Okla Industrial Area Phase 2, New Delhi, 110020. So the course is being run at the DSU campus of the Okla 2. So this was all what I wanted to share in short with all of you. Uh, uh, this is uh, a rough idea as to what we will be teaching in the BBO hospital management. Now we have our experts along with me. Uh, I would first like to ask Vajanti Mala, madam, that uh, ma'am, if you could explain to our students, like as I said that the eligibility is class 12, and there's certain students who would like to work in the healthcare sector but they really don't know as to which course they should go to and why they should join this BBA hospital management, how this course will suit them. So could you please uh, put your impressions as to what should be the suitability criteria for students to join this course? Thank you very much first to Dr. Monica Ma for inviting me for this webinar on the BBA hospital management program. And as you rightly put it, there would be a lot of students who would be interested in working in hospitals and they may not be knowing at this tenth age where to go, how to go, or what kind of jobs they are looking, they would be getting after joining a certain course. So this, anybody could join this course, but those who have inclination to work towards in a hospital or those who have interest, a passion to work in a hospital environment, they can certainly apply for this course and the choices are very wide once they get into a hospital sector they can choose mainly several departments like they have a quality department they have patient care they have finance they have insurance those who are good at uh, math or calculations they might like to work in hospital management a hospital environment so finance would be a better place for them to look at yeah thank those, you ma'am what I can understand, just you have told me that those children who have a lot of passion in health care, they should do this course and they should have empathy and they should have the courage that they should give their patients and their relatives to give their patients and their relatives to give their patients and their relatives to give their patients. So those children who think that they have a passion, that we want to do something, we want to do something in our community, we want to do something in our community, we want to do something in our patients, we want to have empathy factor, we want to have love, we want to have commitment, we want to serve them. And the patient experience, like we say that when a patient wants to go to the hospital, he goes to the trouble. So our first motive is that we want to feel the patient more comfortable. उसे किसी भी तरीके से कुछ भी तकलीफ नहीं होना चाहिए तो जिन भी बच्चों में ऐसा लगता है कि हाँ वो ऐसा कर सकते हैं 
और बहुत सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स जैसे मैम ने अभी राइटली बताया कि वो क्वालिटी डिपार्टमेंट में जा सकते हैं जो बच्चे मैथ्स में अच्छे हैं वो बायो स्टैटिक्स डिपार्टमेंट में जा सकते हैं या वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में जाके एज अ मैनेजर बन सकते हैं तो सबसे जरूरी चीज जो मुझे भी लगती है कि वो आप में वो एम्पथी वो प्यार वो समझ होना चाहिए वो जज्बा होना चाहिए कि जिससे आप हॉस्पिटल में जाके पेशेंट्स की हेल्प कर सके और उन्हें कंफर्टेबल फील करा सके Each and every department in hospital plays an extremely crucial role. You know, we cannot Gee. give. You know, if there is environmental sciences department where environmental cleanliness plays a major role, and that cleanliness they could go into you know manager roles in that or biomedical waste management. We again a separate department, but at the same time has highest importance. So Gee. all these factors. मुझे ये जानना है कि बीबी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट में ऐसा क्या यूनिक फीचर है कि बच्चे की ये वाला कोर्स करें और ये इतना अच्छा है कि हाँ बच्चों को बिना झिझक के जो बच्चों का पैशन है कि हाँ हम हेल्थ केयर में काम करना चाहते हैं तो बीबी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट ऐसा क्या यूनिक है ऐसा क्या इसके एडवांटेजेस है जो बच्चों को मोटिवेट करे कि उन्हें वो ये कोर्स करना चाहिए थैंक यू डॉक्टर मोनिका अर्लियर बिफोर इट बी लाइक लॉट ऑफ जैसे देखेंगे तो पहले लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स देश टू डू मैनेजमेंट इन डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट एंड देन कम इन टू यू नो डू एम बी ए इन हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग बी बी ए इन हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट शुरू से ही आपको हॉस्पिटल के सारे पॉलिसीज सारे रेगुलेशन सारे डिटेल्स आपको कैसे किस डिसिप्लिन में जाना है किस डिपार्टमेंट में कैसे काम करना है आपको सब समझ में आता है रैदर देन है होल सेल होल होलिस्टिक एट द एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग इट सेल्फ एंड गो टूवर्ड्स मोर एडवांस्ड अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स लर्निंग वेन यू डू एन एम बी ए पोस्ट योर वोट यू कॉल बी बी तो जैसे आपने बोला कि ये कैसा कोर्स है जिसमें शुरू से ही हम सारे डिपार्टमेंट से एसोसिएट हो जाते हैं और पूरे हॉस्पिटल को हम अच्छे से समझ लेते हैं जिससे कि हम पेशेंट को सबसे अच्छी केयर दे सकते हैं हम सारे उसके मैनेजमेंट के सिस्टम समझ लेते हैं इसलिए बीबी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट की ये यूनिकनेस है और यही इसका एडवांटेज है कि ये अपने अंदर ही पूरा हॉलिस्टिक एक कोर्स है अपने अंदर ही एक सक्षम कोर्स है हर हर साल में देर आर न्यू सर्विसेज न्यू डिपार्टमेंट्स ओपनिंग अप देर न्यू अपॉर्चुनिटीज कमिंग अप एंड ये सब मैटर करता है व्हेन यू गेट इनटू फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आर न्यू टू द सेक्टर एवरी सेक्टर इज ग्रोइंग एंड हॉस्पिटल सेक्टर इज ऑलवेज ग्रोइंग इट्स इमर्जिंग एज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट फील्ड सेक्टर्स इन ग्लोबली तो वैसे भी कोविड 19 पैंडेमिक के बाद लगता है कि हेल्थ केयर बहुत ज्यादा मूव में है बहुत ज्यादा ग्रोथ रेट है इसका विजयंती वाला मैम मुझे जानना था कि जैसे सर ने बोला कि स्टूडेंट जब ये बीबी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट का कोर्स कर लेगा और उसको हॉस्पिटल्स के बारे में पूरा हॉलिस्टिक अप्रोच की तरह वो वहां पे जाके जॉब कर सकता है पर अगर खाली बच्चा बीबी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट के बाद जॉब ही कर सकता है या कुछ फ्यूचर स्टडीज भी कर सकता है मैम quality because i am saying number of times quality because you know quality is playing a major role in hospitals especially the corporate hospitals and the private sectors now globally as everybody all the hospitals need to be accredited even in india uh, i think uh, government of india is uh, making that you know nabh is a mandatory for any hospital to operate right they need to pay attention more to this so they get to learn a lot about uh, in depth knowledge about uh, hospital operations ji ma uh they have very they have they have huge scope uh thank you ma'am 
डॉक्टर साई हम लोग एक डिग्री कोर्स रन कर रहे हैं बीबीए इन हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट हाउ डू यू थिंक दिस कोर्स विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प द स्टूडेंट्स ये बच्चों को कैसे एक डिप्लोमा कोर्स से ऊपर कैसे एच देता है कि अगर बच्चा डिग्री कोर्स करता है तो उसकी एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी चांसेस या एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी स्किल्स कैसे इनहेंस होंगे और और अ डिग्री कोर्स और इंक्रीजिंग द एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी चांसेस इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द स्टूडेंट्स आर गेटिंग एन ऑन द जॉब ट्रेनिंग व्हिच इज फॉर अ मैटर ऑफ 1 ईयर व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन स्किलिंग देम यू नो गेटिंग अ हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस उनको जब हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस मिलेगा इन अ हॉस्पिटल सेटिंग इन द हॉस्पिटल एनवायरमेंट वो देखते हैं कि कैसे काम होता है कैसे बिलिंग होता है हाउ द डिस्चार्ज प्रोसेस वर्क्स हाउ एमआरडी सिस्टम्स आर एक्टिवेटेड इन अ प्लेस फ्रॉम द एडमिशंस टू द डिस्चार्ज ऑफ पेशेंट हाउ पेशेंट के सिस्टम्स आर रनिंग इन अ हॉस्पिटल हाउ टू मैनेज द पेशेंट्स नो एनी काइंड ऑफ एंजाइटी और एनी काइंड ऑफ ग्रीवियंस इन अ हॉस्पिटल व्हेन दे लुक एट ऑल दिस ड्यूरिंग द ओजीटीज एंड नो द इंटर्नशिप्स they will understand more better what the learning in theory and in doing in projects it's a matter of like having a whole wholesome teaching environment for them from the start to the end where they are getting ojts where they are getting classroom teaching and they are getting uh, exposure to projects and working on projects that could be very useful for increasing the knowledge yes sir bilkul agar ek uh, degree course hum 3 saal ka bachcha agar पढ़ता है तो उसको खाली क्लासरूम टीचिंग नहीं प्रैक्टिकल नहीं बल्कि वो हॉस्पिटल्स में जाके जब ट्रेनिंग करता है प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज खुद लेता है उस पर्टिकुलर uh, डिपार्टमेंट्स में जाके तो उसकी uh, so, सीखने की जो स्किल है वो भी बेहतर होती है एंड देन चांसेस ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट आर फार फार बेटर इन दी इंडस्ट्री बिकॉज इंडस्ट्री को ऐसे लोग चाहिए जो इंडस्ट्री रेडी है सो वी कैन मेक दूडेंट मोर इंडस्ट्री रेडी ऐसा करके जब वो इंटर्नशिप पे जा रहे हैं बिकॉज एम्प्लॉयर और एम्प्लॉय दोनों जने एक दूसरे से मिल रहे हैं समझ रहे हैं तो दोनों के लिए चांसेस ऑफ एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी बढ़ जाता है सो वी आर एबल टू इंक्रीज दी एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी हम जॉब्स की एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी जो कि बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है कि एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी है ही नहीं मिलती नहीं है जॉब्स उसके लिए हम ये बेटर अपॉर्चुनिटीज दे सकते हैं मैम uh, uh, कोई ऐसी इनडिस्पेंसिबल स्किल्स जो आपको लगती हो बच्चों में होनी चाहिए अगर उन्हें बीबीए हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट करना है ऐसी कौन सी स्किल्स बच्चों में होनी चाहिए या हम उनको नर्चर कर सकते हैं उनको बेहतर बना सकते हैं ताकि बच्चे एक अच्छा बीबीए हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट का कोर्स करके अच्छी जॉब कर सके Uh, students need to have perseverance that is the primary characteristic that we would expect from them because hospital would be always uh, the environment is such that they need to be on the floor on their toes all the time and they need to make decisions uh, maybe you know in a fraction of seconds itself based on the sector that we are talking about so they should be able to judge how they need to interact with the patient or if you know two or three patients come at the same time they need to be able to see that you no know, which is an emergency case that need they, that they need to take it on a priority basis so they should be able to judge and then they have they need to have the capacity to evaluate and uh, do the so that means decision making skills mein bahut acche hone chahiye yes. usi samay unko pata hona chahiye ki kya decision lena hai स्पेशली मुझे लगता है मैं पेशेंट को कैसे हैंडल करना चाहिए पेशेंट हैंडलिंग स्किल्स भी आना चाहिए वो परसिवरेंस एम्पैथी बिल्कुल सही बात है कि बहुत जल्दी जल्दी गुस्सा नहीं आना चाहिए कैसे पेशेंट को हैंडल करना है ये स्किल्स होना बहुत जरूरी है प्लस लीडरशिप स्किल्स भी होना चाहिए they have an emergency care that that should be taken care of true i myself feel that you know i should be a priority but the third person should be able to make the decision like you know who should be seen first and what should be done first and without but, any conflicts ma'am koi bina yes. kisi conflicts ke conflict management bhi yes. acha aana chahiye yes. dr sai aap kuch add karenge isme i believe the students should have an entrepreneurial mindset when you know, Uh, they should work in that mindset, but 
always they'll be working in the hospital but they should have a entrepreneurial mindset to you know have something that they can do on their own also ha ah, bilkul matlab apne aap bhi kar sake aur dusro ko bhi livelihood dene ki soche matlab kuch aisa bilkul sahi sir ye hamara dsc ah. ka vision bhi hai hum chahte bhi hai ki बच्चे जो है वो खाली जॉब्स ही नहीं करे बट हाँ जॉब टेकर्स नहीं होने चाहिए जॉब गिवर्स भी होने चाहिए तो ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप माइंडसेट होना भी बहुत जरूरी है और ये सब हम परसिवरेंस एम्पैथी और ये सब स्किल्स को डेवलप करके ही ला सकते हैं मैम कैन यू प्लीज टेल अस की वॉट इज द इंडस्ट्री वॉट आर द एक्सपेक्टेश ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री फ्रॉम अ स्टूडेंट हु completes his degree course for example bb hospital management jab bachcha karke bahar niklega to industry ki kya expectations hongi is se the industry expects that they know what to do or they get out of the floor but the demand is such that you know once if somebody goes and they needs to be trained in the hospital again for quite some period of time where they are losing their money and then then uh, their uh, valuable time and all that so the way that we are uh, doing this program we are uh, uh, training them uh, beforehand so that when they are go to the hospitals they are job ready yeah, that's true so they know what exactly needs to be done and how to handle the situations and what needs to be done at any department level yeah uh, sai sir can you please tell us uh, about the different job profiles or the job roles which a student would be expected But to do once he completes his degree program uh different job specific roles if i would say they would uh, they can be you know healthcare finance managers they can work as hospital administrators uh, blood bank administrators insurance uh, managers project managers in a hospital even healthcare human resource managers you know they can be in these uh, departments that run the whole hospital ठीक है माला मैम बिसाइड हॉस्पिटल्स स्टूडेंट्स और कहां कहां पे जॉब्स uh, के लिए एलिजिबल होंगे वेरी गुड वेरी गुड दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट सो बेसिकली पोस्ट कोविड और बिफोर कोविड बिकॉज़ द हेल्थ केयर कॉस्ट अक्रॉस द ग्लोब आर रेजिंग सो इफ यू टेक द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज स्पेशली यूएस यूके एंड ऑल दैट दे आर फोकसिंग मोर ऑन प्रिवेंटिव केयर रादर देन क्यूरेटिव केयर so in that comes uh, and apart from that uh, there is also home health care where they want the patients to stay at home and then care be provided either through telemedicine or you know doctors or the nursing community visiting the patients and then take care of the patients to reduce the costs either the insurance costs or the out of pocket costs so uh, when they do this hospital management course they could go and get into home health care and then uh, geriatric care Uh, more and more of the population is becoming older population geriatric is the older population uh, uh, population so they can get into geriatric care and then they get get, get into telemedicine and in india especially medical tourism would be a wonderful place now we are catching up a lot in medical tourism along with singapore malaysia and other countries yes so the areas would be very interesting to work in and i think the demand is huge but we don't have uh, good administrators in all these areas which you yes. spoke about abhi hamare paas log hi nahi in areas mein they are the upcoming areas healthcare mein yes so yes. i guess students yes. ke liye future to bahut bright hai uh, as we talk about this course yes. of bp hospital can management I, can i add yes, sir, uh, please so yeah i would wanted to add like even in healthcare startups a lot of administrators would be required to uh, help in the administrative work yes, खुद अपना ऑन्टरप्रेनरशिप माइंड सेट होता है तो कुछ कुछ हेल्थ केयर में अपना काम करना चाहते हैं yes. उन सब जो बीबीए हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट करेंगे उनके लिए स्कोप बहुत ज्यादा है इट्स जस्ट दैट कि उन्हें डेडिकेशन ऑनेस्टी के साथ करना है यस मैम यस मैम पैलेटिव केयर सेंटर्स पैलेटिव केयर ओके पैलेटिव केयर सेंटर्स आर आल्सो देयर यस मैम 
सो लॉर्ड ऑफ परसिवरेंस और अगर एम्पैथी के साथ और बहुत ऑनेस्टी और डेडिकेशन के साथ अगर बच्चे कोर्स परस्यू करते हैं बीबी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट सो दे हैव लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ एवेन्यूज फॉर देम लॉट्स ऑफ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज आल्सो फॉर देम एंड दिस बी डीएसयू बीइंग अ गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन द स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी वी हेयर वुड डेफिनेटली हेल्प ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स जो भी बच्चे हमारे पास एडमिशन लेंगे अगर उनको फंडिंग का इशू है वहां पर भी हम हेल्प कर करेंगे बहुत सारी स्कॉलरशिप्स मिलती हैं सो so, जिन भी बच्चों में वो पैशन है जो हेल्थ केयर में कुछ करना चाहते हैं वो जरूर बीपी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट को ज्वाइन अगर के अंदर एडमिशन ले सकते हैं मैम अनादर थिंग डॉक्टर साई वन एडवाइस वुड लाइक टू गिव टू दी स्टूडेंट्स जो अपना करियर बनाना चाहें अगर बीपी हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट को परस्यू करके करने के लिए तो कोई एक आपकी तरफ से एडवाइस understand what the administrators your colleagues understand what's going on so you know, have an uh, have an understanding of the situation that's going on and work accordingly uh dr sai there's another question i can see in the chat box which says that uh, is there paid internships that students will do in this course at dsu uh, no which- it's part of the course uh, there is no paid internship in this course yeah so students what i can also add kyunki ye 3 years ka course hai aur hum during this course hi aapko bahut achhi practical training dena cha rahe hain us access ke liye hum aapko hospitals ke liye ek saal ka training de rahe hain since ye course ka hi ek part hai isliye isme paid nahi hoga but aapko pura exposure milega jo kuch bhi classroom mein padhaya jayega wo aapko khud jaake अपने हॉस्पिटल्स में जाके उसको करने का और देखने का मौका जरूर मिलेगा मैम विल द स्टूडेंट्स गो टू हॉस्पिटल्स फॉर इंटर्नशिप्स माला मैम यस यस दे वुड गो दे वुड गो सिक्स मंथ्स इन द थर्ड सेमेस्टर एंड देन अगेन इन द फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर दे वुड कंप्लीटली डू द इंटर्नशिप कैन यू हियर मी Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear. Okay. So students go to hospitals. Yes, Doctor Sai, uh, will the students go to the hospitals for internship? Yes, yes. They will, they will be, going be going to the hospital. They will be going. Yes, so uh, both for six months each in the third and fifth semester. This year, our five semester, me, which is our six semesters, ka ye course hai, three saal ka. It is divided into six semesters. In the third and fifth semesters, the students would be going to the different hospitals, which uh, are our tie-up, hai Apollo Med Skills, ke saath, just uh, ke saath partnership me, Delhi Skill and Entrepreneurship University ne ye course start kiya hai academic year 2022 or 23 ke liye. which is called bba in hospital management uh uh ma'am uh sir jaise hum kehte hain bba hospital management aur different courses hai jiski bahut demand hai with respect to the other healthcare uh, course programs Uh, आपको क्या लगता है कि बीबीए हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट का कितना डिमांड है इन दी हेल्थ केयर सेक्टर सो पोस्ट कोविड देयर इज अ ह्यूज डिमांड फॉर हेल्थ केयर प्रोग्राम्स सो द कोविड हैज एक्सपोज्ड हेल्थ केयर इन सच अ वे इन द गैप्स द सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट वेयर देयर वर फ्लॉस इन द हेल्थ केयर इट वाज ऑल एक्सपोज्ड एंड नाउ हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम्स दे वुड लाइक टू स्ट्रेंथन देमसेल्फ्स so for doing that we need to encourage the students or we need to prepare the workforce in such a way that they would be able to handle anything any pandemic or any epidemic that comes unexpectedly so there is very high demand for the healthcare programs and for especially bba healthcare program because it it is going to lay down a very strong foundation to the students 
मैम तो आप थोड़ा हाईलाइट करेंगे कि हम इन तीन साल में बच्चों को क्या क्या पढ़ाएंगे और उसका क्या बेनिफिट होगा इन दे फ्यूचर जॉब प्रोस्पेक्ट्स मैम सो टू टॉक अबाउट दिस प्रोग्राम पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम स्टूडेंट्स विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग फ्रॉम यू नो व्हाट हेल्थ केयर इज हाउ हेल्थ केयर इज डिवाइडेड इनटू हॉस्पिटल्स डायग्नोस्टिक डायग्नोस्टिक सेंटर्स और लॉन्ग टर्म हेल्थ केयर दे लर्न द ओवरऑल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम फर्स्ट सो फ्रॉम देन the minute as somebody enters into the hospital or a healthcare like from the front desk till the time they are discharged each and every department there are so many you know, numerous departments that you know patient is a corn corn's departments honge ma'am corn corn's departments honge i am coming to that yeah yes ma'am yeah there is front desk and there are so many activities involved in front desk and then there is ip and then op in patient care and then outpatient care and then once the patient is admitted then there are admission process and then there is clinical process you know generally what uh, what what was the thought about patients is to get the best clinical experience so they were not bothered about what is happening behind the screens so in in very simple terms i say that in the administrators or uh, um the non clinical staff are behind the screen and the actors or you know the, the clinical staff are the front end but the back end or the spine of any hospital or any healthcare system is the administration if they work seriously and uh, perfectly then the clinical staff would be able to do their part very easily so say for example if we need well, let's take a very small clinic for example and uh, somebody comes there to get an injection and the doctor is ready to give the injection or the nurse is ready to get they give the injection but they they do not have uh, syringes a very basic example yes ma'am so this is taken care by the staff is a non clinical person so this all that there is supply chain management involved there, there is a uh, biomedical waste management involved there is environment cleanliness involved there is quality involved there is supply chain there is operations there are uh, the quality so there are numerous departments there is security there is finance there is insurance all these departments they need to work together to make you know one patient's journey in the hospital a good one uh, thank you ma'am dr sai you would like to add something here ma'am is uh, yeah she up. has uh, summarized it very well right. i think students ko bahut zyada insights mile honge ki bb hospital management mein kya hota hai aur kaise hota hai i would so, say at the end of the end of everything it's the patient's journey that matters yes. patient's experience that matters that's true aur kitne acche se hum usko right. uh, comfortable feel karate that is more important so at the uh, before we come to an end i would like to thank uh, bajanti mala ji and dr sai i think whatever information you have shared hamare uh, students ke sath jo bhi interested candidates hain i think they must have been benefited uh, all the students who would like to join uh, the bb hospital management at dsu ye uh, sari information i hope uh, would have been very very helpful aap sabko aapke bahut sare questions ke jawab mile hain Uh, हमने पूरी कोशिश की है कि आपको सारी चीजों से अप्राइज कराएं और सब बताएं सो थैंक यू बेजंती माला जी एंड डॉक्टर साई फॉर योर टाइम एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच